What's up, everybody? This is Dominic here to talk about today's General Hospital episode. Um, this might be a short video because there weren't many things. I'm gonna say there weren't many things in today's episode that really stood out for me. That really impressed me. Really. Um, what 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 happened? Who was on today's episode? Let me get let me get the Sabrina and Carlos stuff out of the way. Um, I will say. It's decent. It's okay. It's pretty decent to see the character Carlos again. Um, I know I said a while back. I mean, I said a while back that in the, in the video a while back that I really didn't see the need for Carlos on this show since um we know he's not really Julian's. Well, Julian's not the late leader of the Jerome crime family, and there's really no need for. And since they had basically had him take the rap for Sonny, unless they like have like have when all that comes out that Sonny killed AJ, and um. Like I said, when all that comes out and Carlos gets out of jail, they find something else to do. I mean, like, make him a darn hell. If he doesn't, I, I wouldn't really be all. I, I don't really want Carlos back in the mob. If they, like I said, they when they, he gets out of jail, because we know it's gonna, my, this secret is going to come out. If he gets out of jail, when he gets out of jail, um, I really wouldn't really, I wouldn't mind seeing them make do, taking a different rap with Carlos and like have him working at the Metro Court or something, make him working at Kelly's Diner or something like that. He where he interact with more people. But anyway, um but yeah. But I have a feeling when they when he, he that when Carlos eventually does get out of jail, they're probably gonna put him with, put him back, put him with Sabrina so and I'll be okay with that since it seems like Sabrina the whole Sabrina and Patrick thing is sorta of, now I'm getting the vibes it's sorta of going down a hill because with this stuff with Sam and I'll talk about that later in a minute in a minute, but the Carlos and Sabrina scene, back on to the Carlos and Sabrina scene of the day. Carlos basically told Sabrina that um basically just to sum up what that conversation was, no matter what Ava did no matter what Ava did, a innocent baby. That he basically said that Gabriel was an innocent baby. Um, excuse me, I'm sort of sweating in this video. It's sort of, it's not really as hot outside as it normally been, but I don't know for some reason I'm sweating. But anyway, um, but yeah, um, he was basically sitting there telling Ava that not Ava, telling Sabrina that um, that no matter what Ava did, even if, even if she's guilty of sin, an innocent baby doesn't deserve to die. Just like Gabriel didn't deserve Gabriel didn't deserve to die, an innocent kid didn't deserve to die. So Sabrina's feeling all remorseful and all that. She's feeling sort of some sort of remorse, and so she she basically knows that Jordan has um Ava's pills. So she calls Jordan and basically tells Jordan that well she doesn't tell Jordan to tell Ava not to take the pill, but she basically says that. She says she has to talk to her, and then Jordan basically says, I, I, I'm, I'm going to see to it that Ava gets the pills, and, and that the pills are on her way to Ava. So anyway, and Sabrina basically pauses and couldn't say anything, because she basically knows Ava's probably eventually going to take those pills. But anyway, um, moving along from that, let me talk about the Jordan and Sean scenes today. I'm kind of sick of Sean being all judgmental about to what, to what Jordan does. I'm like, dude, you're like a, you're a hitman for the mob. You're a hitman. You're basically a paid killer. And even though we know Jordan's not a not really a drug dealer, but Sean doesn't know that. But he, he basically is constantly uh, every time we see Sean and Jordan in scenes together, even if there is a love making scene between those two, all they all they all he does, he always brings the fact that you're a drug dealer. You work for the drones, dude. You work for Sonny. You basically kill help kill people. We all know that's what Jason used to do. He was a hitman in Fort. He was, he was an enforcer. You basically are trained that were basically paid to kill people, take people out. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, that's really what they're saying is about today. Basically, talking about um, he wants Sean wanted to know why, why Jordan um, why she won't give up any information about Ava, and he also wanted to know why she would risk her own life to basically save Sonny, to save Sonny's son. Why would she? Tell him that Michael was about to be hit hit on it. About to, there was about to be hit out on um about to be hit out on Michael and she basically said, You know Julian he basically said something like, You know Julian to kill kill you if he finds out that um you snitched. I'm like, honestly, I really don't think Julian will too much kill. Well he's too busy trying to win Alexis back, trying to prove to Alexis he's not a liar or whatever. Which even though he technically isn't lying about the whole Luke thing, but He's too. That's what Julian's too busy doing. I, I, don't, I doubt he. If he were to find out that um, Ava um snitched about the whole hit on Michael, I doubt he'd care about it. But anyway, 
Um, but the, we all know it's going to come up. To, there's something like that's going to come up as to why, how he found out that um, as to how how Sean found out to, um that Michael was about to be taken out. But anyway, what else happened on today's episode? The Silas and Nina stuff. I will say this. I said reading re- recent videos, Silas and Nina sort of bore me, but it is getting a little interesting. Their their storyline is getting a tad bit interesting because. And from what I'm hearing, looking at tomorrow's episode, we're gonna be we're gonna have Silas basically big, probably best big and Sam to come back. Cause at the end of today's episode, Silas basically called Sam and said that maybe she was maybe she was right about Nina, Nina the whole time by her knowing how to walk and it would not be really being crippled. And Silas basically fired Rosalie as um Nina's basically fired her as Nina's nurse or whatever, and. Uh, apparently Nina seen my semi sort of fired her too, fired her too because Rosalie was basically telling Nina that um how how she basically was there trying to get, trying to move in on Michael, but she has to say how she likes she likes Morgan, but it, way it seems to me it seems like they're gonna they're moving Morgan back into the Ava direction, especially if this baby turns out, if this baby does turn out to be Morgan, which I'm hearing it's favorite that the baby's gonna be Sonny's. But when if the baby turns up does turn out to be Morgan's, um, I I, I, I could see Morgan and Ava get back together. And I actually think Brian Craig's acting ability actually should he should be paired up with more people like Moore West and like being more seen with Maurice Bernard and Laura Wright and all the top some of the top notch actors on GH. Nothing against the other actors like he's been in scenes with like my, with like Chad Duell or Kristen Alderson or um the actress that plays Rosalie, Rosalie. I cannot think of her name for to, to her. I, I cannot think of her name to um save my life. But anyway, no, no, not to discredit them, but I think he should really be in more scenes with the big dogs on GH. That's just my opinion. But anyway, um, so but anyway, let's talk about the Morgan and Ava scenes. That, that, that's all I really had to say about the um Nina and Silas scenes. Like I said, it's, it, it seems like it's getting sort of interesting. Their story like is getting interesting, but he basically knowing that she. Knew how to walk and whatever. Well, anyway, um, what else happened on today's episode? Let me talk about the Morgan and Ava stuff. Um, Morgan basically was at was there making Ava breakfast, and he basically was telling Ava that, um, well, but he he never was having some conversation. And then Ava gets a text message from Jordan saying that she has her pills and he she can basically send somebody send somebody. Cause she sends somebody after the pills, or basically she get her pills to her. So Ava sends Morgan to the um, to the um, I think it was the, I think that was the Metro Court, to the Metro Court, and um, to get Ava's pills. Morgan gets the pills. When he gets back to Ava's house, Rosalie's there at the well. That's not Ava's house. This is the Morgan's house, the Brownstone. Um, and I like that. I like that Brownstone set. I don't think I've said it before. I like that Brownstone set. I like that. I like that. They, I like that they're bringing that. They bought that back. But anyway, um. But Rosalie's having this basically stops Morgan before he can go into the house and say she has she has to talk to her. She has to talk to him about basically about Nina and all the stuff she's been doing and the reason Kiki and Michael been having trouble is because of her and because of Nina and whatever. And Nina's basically telling her was telling her to do all the stuff to Michael and Kiki and Morgan really didn't seem interested in that. He basically was trying to get the appeals back to Ava. Then out of nowhere, Ava starts hollering and saying Morgan basically ho- hollering for Morgan and Morgan races in there to give her the appeals or whatever. And Rosalie basically sees Ava and whatever. And I'm, from what I see in tomorrow's episode, Ava's gonna. I wonder if Rosalie's gonna keep keep her keep Ava a secret. Keep her, the fact where Ava is a secret. I mean, that's what I'm wondering. But um, but yeah, there were some okay scenes today. But anyway, like I'm trying to get through all this. Like I say, wasn't really much today about in today's episode. that was too exciting. But um, let me talk about the Patrick and Sam scenes. When I tell y'all, I laughed when. And I knew when when Patrick and Sam when um they was basically supposed supposedly having sex or getting ready to have sex, um they were kissing and whatever. I had a feeling it was gonna wind up being a dream. It was basically Sam fantasizing about it all, and we back we get back basically tell Sam's wanting Patrick, she wants Patrick, cause she kept fantasizing about it the whole episode just about. It. You could tell she wants Patrick, and um and he seems to probably well, he seems to want her too, but um. I don't think they want to, they don't want to act on that because of their friendship or whatever, their adventure buddies or whatever. And then, then when though and when they we we figured out it was a dream. My Sam, it was a dream between, it was a dream with Sam's dream or whatever. Tracy comes in the door and 
I'm basically was getting ready to have this meeting with Luke. And now we all know Luke's probably not gonna show up for this meeting. But she getting ready for this meeting with Luke. And um and they basically say that um and Tracy basically insinuates something that went on because Patrick Patrick came out with the um nothing but a towel on, no put nothing but a towel on and Tracy basically insinuated that they was they slept together, but they basically said that they didn't sleep together. But Sam keeps constantly fantasizing about Patrick, about having this fantasy about Patrick or whatever. And like I said, I, I I'm okay. I'm I'm fine with Sam and Patrick being together. Um, I like it. Um, I wouldn't mind like when Billy Miller's Jason actually starts remembering who he is. Um, which I'm hoping it doesn't take a, that doesn't take a long time. I'm seriously hoping that doesn't take a long time. I would like to see Sam and Jason paired together. I mean, I. I'm not really a Jay Sam or Lee Jay Lee Gazon fan. I think that's what they were called. I'm not really a fan of any, any of those pairing. Man, I like those pairings, but I'm not like a diehard fan of any of those. But I wouldn't mind seeing her tested with Billy Miller. And I wouldn't mind seeing Billy Miller tested throughout the canvas. You know how they, how they do like recast and new cast members or whatever. They test them. They basically chem te chemistry test them with a lot of people. And I wouldn't mind that happening. Like I said, say, say Kelly Monica. And I think they will. But say Kelly Monica and Billy Miller don't have any chemistry. Um, say they don't have chemistry, they can pair him with Liz. I think he and, he and Rebecca Hurst have shown they have pretty decent chemistry for the scenes they've had so far. The scenes they've had, um, but yeah, but yeah, um, my my mind, my attention went somewhere else. I'm something popped up on my TV screen about my cable provider. Something popped up on my TV screen. But anyway, um, I'll deal with that in a minute. But yeah. Like I said, say um, like we said, like I was saying, while ago, say Kelly Monaco and Billy Miller don't have that much chemistry, they can basically pair Patrick with Sam. Per se, if Robin ever came, but if Robin ever came back, I would I wouldn't mind seeing Patrick and Robin together because, but we know, she probably Kimberly McCullough. I like I said, I doubt she'd come back full time. I, I honestly doubt that it happened. She'd come back full time. She she's doing her thing. Her she's doing her directing thing, and big ups to her for doing that. But I I honestly. Doubt she and like I said, unless they like recast Robin, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't. I really wouldn't mind seeing them recast Robin. I mean, there's a lot of actresses out there that are out of a job, so I wouldn't mind seeing them recast Robin. I mean, I want a few people, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people feel that way. Too. Well, actually, a lot of people feel that way. Wouldn't mind seeing Robin recast. But anyway, that's really all I got for today's episode. If I'm left out of anything, the Nicholas and Brit stuff. Um, I actually, in a way, forgot about this storyline. I seriously forgot about their, their storyline was even relevant on this show. Um, but yeah, Spen they had scenes with Spencer today, and they Nichols basically asked Britt to move back in with her, move back in with him, and she agreed. And Spencer, her, Nicholas and Spencer, not Spencer, Nicholas and Spencer, um, Britt and Spencer basically said their plan's working, but Britt tells Spencer, like, if Nicholas ever found out that they were in, that her and Nicholas were in her and Spencer were in on in the uh, in on this whole plan about him going miss, missing the bring them closer together. That would um that would basically tear them apart for good, and which it would. But anyway, um, moving. That's really all I got for today's episode. Leave me a comment below if I forgot I left out anything. I'll try to get back at you guys. Anyway, this is Dominic checking out. Peace. God bless. I'm out.